Hey, I'm Fallen Blur, and one year ago I uploaded a video on how to activate a drag doll when character die. So when I was working on my enemy, so I realized that most of the thing that I told you in that video is uh, pretty useless, like making those, uh, making camera and those body camera take, disabling those box gliders, capsule glider, and adding up primary gliders for all which covered the whole enemy. So but I realized that those things are so I come with a better and newer way of how to make this activity a ragdoll and it's pretty much straightforward and easy okay so first thing like uh, I look at let's look up here I have a character an enemy character which is a uh, starter assets from come from starter assets okay so you can look it okay and if this enemy character has an animated map message and sub three skills which is possible from the apps from AI stuff okay so main thing you need to look I don't have any primary color collider that covers all over the body I only do collider that come with the rag dolls and if you don't know how to make a rag doll you need to just right click on your end player or any character you have and ready your object go to rag doll then you need to fill out this appropriate fields with your corresponding bones then you need to give some total mass I give idle value to 60 kg or 80 okay for me the I set up a value 80 then leave the standard fill for forward as it is and just then click on create after that your ragdoll character become a ragdoll okay? you see some bones are added to it so some bones some colliders or joints are also added to it also so from till now you have already made character a ragdoll it's working so we only need to activate those ragdolls now if you, may, you know that you cannot disable the rich bodies and one thing that um, if i play this i want to show you one thing that uh, if I play and go back to scene and yes, go enemy. You look, the one thing that preventing him, preventing him to become a ragdoll is none other like uh, animator. So as soon as I disable the animator, he's going to become a ragdoll. Okay, so we all main thing we only need to disable the animator and nothing else. So you can also destroy that, destroy the animator. So let's go go to the script and see how it's going to work. So I'm going to open the AI health because from here my player is only going to die. So first thing like uh, I have a, a health which is rise field and next thing is a uh, ragdoll is ragdoll a boolean so we are going to check whether it is true or false for that so in start uh, so in start function I uh, make the ragdoll false and in the update function if you look here uh, let's look down in first year that if I am checking the weather health becomes zero so if, uh, our enemy die so we are going to make the boolean true and did our next all the steps like health zero and destroy the game but we were making the boolean true then if the boolean true we're going to call then if this is going to check uh whether it's true or not if it's true then it's going to call the ragdoll function okay so in ragdoll function there's nothing much uh actually i'm just destroying the animated component but before that if you look i have two more script two more things are destroying him is like uh ai weapon and ai so these are script uh for the my ai stuff so i just I'm destroying these stuffs first because they are dependent on the animator so I don't want any kind of ear or crashes on my game so I just destroy them first then at last I'm going to destroy the animator and also everything got destroyed so I think so I should also destroy the Netflix agent too so, but main thing you need to know you need to destroy animator all at last so if, so you don't know if, uh, there's not got any ear first of all okay so make sure you destroy them last and the function that we're going to use is pretty easy is destroy function and give the transform dot get component as a parameter and just give the feed a component in the uh, square brackets uh, whatever the brackets is okay and then if you go back to the script so you go back to unity and if i'm going to play and this time i'm going to see this in a example so we go to the enemy So look I here leash the enemy now the main thing I need as soon as I shoot him he's going to become a drag doll okay so it's mean the player has zero and a player will become drag doll now may anything you need to notice that I don't as I said I don't have any primary collider okay so the main thing is problem that in that video in my old video I had a primary collider for the collision detection now the problem is that um, the collider that he had is in, in his child object now when I shoot him, the uh, so the, the object that I hit is his child. So child does not have any script 
for the health so how they sending and telling him that whether the body got hit or not because their child and scripts are in the parents object so it's pretty important that i am also there's one more thing for damage part um, so if i go back to my weapon scripts here now it will so when i'm hitting the component when i hit it so first thing i take i check get the what transform i get so by hit dot transform i get the uh, transform where the object i hit it okay so actually hit is a recast hit which is called by the physics law recast and sending the information to hit so when i hit so this function going to give me a object a transform that hits then from this transform i'm going to access the root now in unity root means a uh, the top most parent and in this case our top most parent is none other than enemy and enemy also has the our ai health script too so from here we get the ai health now when we get ai health we need to access that ai health too now so we first check whether the ai health is there or not so for uh, we going to check whether the top most parent has or not by the using root word and then we if we has so we going to call get this so by storing in the ai health then he transforms again we do the same thing and root because the uh, uh, script was in his top most print we're going to use root to access this okay then and then you can up call into you can apply the damage okay and the great thing about this feature like uh if you notice that every component has different colliders now mainly limbs have capsule colliders and uh body and torso the upper part has box colliders and this head has spear colliders so you can now know what part is now you need to know that what part is head and what part is limbs and what part is our his box what part is spine or body so if we somehow get what collider we hit we can apply different damage according to the scene and these are pretty great features and now the most of his game and people's game have this feature so so uh, keeping this in mind so i can think that i get a condition if the heat transform has the capsule collider so this means we are hitting the limbs so i'm giving some random damage till 5 to 11 you can give okay and if we hit a box that will be some hitting a up or something okay so we giving our giving a damage about 20 and if i hit the spear collider this means we are hitting the his head this means there is going to be head shot so we giving the damage of 50 you can give even 100 if you want but i'm giving the 50 okay so this means it take two hits for him that is take five hits and it's just a random value so this may take sometime 10 with hits so and if i going to see you in this example don't believe this uh, i'm going to play this game and going back to the enemy this time first i'm going to shoot with i'm going to shoot in his leg then going to shoot his spine and then going to shoot in his head so let's shoot in his leg first okay look uh, the value got 80 like it's slowly decreasing and taking pretty uh it take almost 20 bullets to kill him okay almost 20 bullets and this time i going to play again this time let me okay let's make the character fast now i'm going to this time i'm going to hit in his spine okay let's go him and try to hit in his spine okay it is now it need to take some almost 5 bullets okay now it take almost 5 bullets to kill him and if we hit in his head now it's going to take two head uh, two bullets to only to kill him okay so let's take kega head sword this time okay uh, look i uh, almost take two bullets okay let's do this one more time okay now let's take him from the near point okay okay now it's almost take two bullets to kill him yeah i have a pretty ba bad aim Okay, now still he take two bullets. So it means that uh, not only with this matter, we can only activate drag doll, but also the different collider help us to getting the different giving us a different damage to enemies. So uh, I hope you like this video, and if you learn something, hit the like button. And so thanks for watching.